What has the, uh, the transition been like for, for Hollywood now that you've had him on the field for a handful of times? I think it's similar to what he played in at OU, obviously, position-wise. Um, no huddle type stuff, signal based. Uh, but, you know, he's been in Baltimore for a while now, and so it's just readjusting to that. But uh, I think he feels comfortable in what we're doing. A lot of the drills are probably similar to what he did at OU, and um, the relationship with Kyler goes a long way. When you, look at, when you look at how you might use him, does it change significantly in the six games you don't have DeAndre as opposed to when you do have him? Or are you, are you somebody who would rather keep everybody in their spots and kind of deal with it? Yeah, no, I, I think, you know, Hop is such a dynamic playmaker that when he gets back, we'll, we'll kind of see where we're at, how it's been going, who's playing the best, where, and, and adjust from there. But uh, I think we'll have a plan going in um, where we want guys to start positionally and then go from there. Where, where do you think it helps him with Kyler and Dallas and kind of getting a jump on, on everything? Um, I, you know, Kyler can signal things out to him, talk through the offense, how we do things, pace of play, all that, and, and just continue to build that rapport. Getting that timing together is huge anytime you can have that type of work. Did you notice anything at the end of the game when you came in just because of that timing, Kyler? No doubt. I, I, I'd say, comparatively speaking, if you were talking about a guy who didn't know the quarterback or didn't play in a similar system and didn't get to work out with him and hear the calls, see the signals, uh, I would say he, he's way ahead of the curve when it comes to that. What he brings to the table when he doesn't get the ball just because he's such a threat take the top off, you know, opening up things across the middle. Yeah, he, he can stretch the defense, there's no doubt. Um, vertically, I mean, he can really roll. He had a bunch of big plays last year, could have had more, I felt like, and um, that's an aspect, you know, having A.J. Rondell, him, guys that can, can stretch the field um, from from all angles is going to be good for us. What do the fans know about Hollywood that they don't know that a coach could tell them? Like, watch out for this or that. Or yeah, I think the thing that jumps out, and, and this is going back to his OU days, talking to their coaching staff, just he works really hard. I mean, I know his name is Hollywood, so you think he'd be chilling, but um, he works really hard. Great practice player. Um, anything you ask him to do, he's going full speed. And uh, just quick twitch, dynamic, can really run. And, and for a smaller guy, can really track the ball well down the field and go up and make plays. Is everything where he wanted it to be at this point? I feel good about the work we got, like I've said all along, just to, to have an off season and, and um, you know, go through our self-scout and figure out what we need to work on, what we need to emphasize, and to be able to touch those guys for the last three months, I think, was, was really good for us as a coaching staff. So going into training camp, we definitely have improved as a unit, and we got a long way to go, but uh, I thought the work was really good this summer. You brought up Eno yesterday, Cliff. Was it surprising to you to see the difference in him? More than anything, like I talked about last year, I thought he came on. Um, the professionalism, the work ethic, you know, we knew he was a very talented runner when the ball is in his hands. And um, even has changed his body, he's leaner, but the, the pass catching abilities, the uh, pass pro has just improved dramatically. And I mean, he was running to exhaustion every day that he was here in OTAs and, and just really excited about what I've seen from him and, and how far he's come. You, you and Jeff have options. If Hunt and kickoff returners, but everyone's assuming it's Rondell, Rondell. Who else is in the mix? Yeah, Greg Dortch is a guy who did it last year at times. And then we'll, you know, we have a good stable of running backs there. Um, Jonathan Ward's a guy who could who could do uh, kickoff returns as well. Eno is another guy when you're talking about kick, kickoff returns. But um, we'll see. You know, if Rondell's workload, kind of like Christian Kirk's workload, got greater, we, we may find another option there. Do you take some time off when this is over and before training camp, or you just stay focused? No, I definitely do. This is like the next month is like my my time, so y'all won't see me. <laughs> any update on Bobby Hudson? Um, no update as of now. How much did you see the running back position change when Daryl was brought in? How that dynamic change with all those guys? Yeah, it's, it's been good, good competition. Um, when you're talking about James, obviously, Eno, Jonathan Ward, Daryl, uh, you know, Key, who we drafted, a couple of free agent guys we brought in um, that we, we like as players. It's, it's really good competition, and they're all going to push each other. But to add a guy like Daryl, who's played in huge games, you know, championship pedigree there with the Chiefs uh, in great offenses, it, it goes a long way. How would you describe Zach Allen's career today? 
I think um, continues to improve. I'd say that that's the biggest thing from when we first got him here to where, um, you know, at times he played last year. I, I think he's just going to get better and better. His work ethic is tremendous. Got to stay healthy. Obviously, that, that's number one, but uh, very smart player and has gained size, has gained strength, and each year has gotten better. How about the competition in general that you're going to see when you get to camp on the position from like the running back, outside linebacker, receivers? I mean, it seems like you guys want a lot of battles to kind of watch the game. We do, yeah. There's, there's a lot of positions, I think, that um, people are waiting to see who emerges, you know, that outside back position, trying to um, find some some depth there, replacing Chandler, and then and obviously wide out. Uh, we brought in Hollywood, but we got to have other guys step up without Hop, and then losing Chase. Um, one of those young running backs needs to, needs to come on, and so it's going to be fun to see how those guys compete. Where does, uh, where does Andy Isabella fit these days, if anywhere? Yeah, I mean, he can play inside, outside. He can kind of do it all. Um, we got to get a training camp and see how it all plays out. But he, he's such a uh, smart football player. He knows our system inside and out. And, and, you know, speed, like I've always said, is something that, that is valued in this league. So we'll see how, how training camp plays out. What kind of weapon has Eno become in the past game? Uh, we'll see how it develops. Uh, but watching him in OTAs, I mean, he, he's made some tremendous catches. And, and just watching his route running, understanding of our system, how to get open, uh, it's, it's been really impressive from, from when he first got here. What was your message to the players as you send them off for the next six weeks? Yeah, we have a team meeting at one, so I, I will address that there. But uh, it's always just be safe, you know, stay in shape, be ready to roll, and we're here for you if you need us. Rookies gone also, or some of them will be here? Rookies will be here for two more weeks. So they'll be here training with Buddy and uh, doing some walkthroughs, some football stuff, and then they'll get out of here. You said you were praying Kyler's deal will get done before training camp. Are you hoping the same for Hollywood? You want him here long term? Yeah, we'd, we'd love to get it done. Uh, obviously, there's there's deals that Steve's always trying to uh, get done to, to help with cap room and, and uh, make sure we're doing things. That, at the best level we can on that side of things. But uh, Hollywood's a guy we, we see as a long-term answer if, if um, we're able to make that work.